I think the people, we are already over here, we are connected with the mother nature because we say we have to stop the big corporation taking control of our lives. I will remember you what happened in Bolivia in 2005 where we have, for example, my people fighting against the detail, the water consortium corporation. In the meantime, I want to say to you, I'm making the connection with the great spirit in this moment because we are not alone and we are always, we are with them. We have a minta mamita pachamama, we have a anti, who young imama, in Pitahayu, Upi, Ilaya, Kupaya. We have been near a weaver, ear, fire, anti, Iwe, Itila, Inti, Uva, Iva. We I'm sorry if I am now using very well the technology, but actually because I come from a development country, you know, these things for us is very new. When we see this type of the people are down and fighting against, against the mother nature, it's so important to begin to thinking what we have or what we're going to give or what we're going to leave for our children, okay? It's so important to be very respectful about the use of technology. A few minutes ago, somebody was mentioned, we're drinking a lot of coffee, we're using a lot of sugar, we're using so many things that are not necessary. Right now, for example, our people, they're very connected to the technology. Using a lot of cell phones, we're beginning to forget the connection between the people or talking or writing between the people. It's so important and sad. It's sad also to see the children in this planet beginning to be very, very dependable from this technology. When we're talking about sugar or you're talking about coffee, you have to begin to think how much you can reduce to helping to this planet to be safe. I will mention a little bit what we're trying to do in Tezuke Pueblo. I will say thank you to the people that are present over here, like Luke, William, many other people, uh, Mariel, they are very involved with the small things we try to change in the Pueblo. We try to make our Pueblo independent and sustainable. We are beginning to use uh, solar energy for heating or making heating systems for the greenhouse. Because we thinking tomorrow we are not going to have any more this dependable energy in the Pueblo. The food distribution or the food production, we making distribution to our Pueblo people because we believe healthy food, it's healthy life, and you have to be part of this production. In the meantime, I want to mention to you the water conservation. Water is one of the big issues. We're beginning to making different type of the irrigation and preserving water in the Pueblo and the community. It is necessary to think in how we can make a contribution to this type of the aspect we have actually in the front of the our people or in front of the uh, us. It's, uh, I have to mention also some of the people over here present. There are many of the people, they pass away fighting. In Argentina last year, that's a very interesting movement over there because the mothers in Cordoba, they stopped the production or the construction or the building of the Monsanto Acid Company. Because we talk about the pollution, we talk about the pollution, talking about the pesticides using and abusing, and we think in technology they can be one of the elements they can making save this planet. Every single one they are present in this in this movement, like you guys, they can be part of this stop to making damage to Mother Earth or the Mother Nature. In the meantime, I want to mention to you. What happened in Peru two years back, two years back is the only one country in South America they stopped the JMOs for order the government and the Congress. 
Dominic! Check it out at that website. We have like a biking challenge, and we want you to take it and then pass it on to someone else to take the challenge. Of course, to bike 100 miles every now and uh, all the time. October 26th. And every mile bike. Tell me on camera. Hey. What's that? Tell me on camera. Oh. It's the Climate Leadership Challenge at takeresponsibility.us. We're trying to get people to bike up to 100 miles from now until October 26th. Log their miles on an app. Not map your run or whatever, and every mile bike will be a dollar raised for the uh, climate leadership cause. And uh, and uh, so October 26th there'll be a luncheon at Tezuki Village Market at one o'clock to celebrate people's action. What's the app? Uh, map your run. Any map, it's free. Just log your miles. And again, try to raise a hundred dollars, and it'll all go to community seed leadership grants. Tell so us about the Climate Action Task Force. Uh, the Climate Action Task Force is, is a great group. The mayor set up to help take action on climate change, and so we, we've got a great group of people trying to come up with some excellent ideas. So, nice to see you.
you save about a pound and a half of carbon for every mile. So this is going after the big two, the power generation and then the gasoline from transportation. So let's do it. If you don't have it already, let's get it. So I'm going to go to the other end with my car and there's another car down there and then we'll meet you all at the end. Now Luke from the biofuels program at Santa Fe Community College. Thank you everybody for showing up today. Louder? Oh yeah. Okay, I'll keep the talking to a minimum here, but I'm humbled and grateful to be here today with all of you. Thank you for showing up. It's important to keep community. I see many faces here that are doing important work, including Dan next to me right here. I want everyone to just take a moment here and reflect on how we as individuals and community can work together to address climate change. Take a second, reflect on it. I want you now to look at your neighbor next to you and make a pledge towards reducing your carbon footprint, not increasing it. Get solar! Take a water or carbon footprint assessment. This is critical to know. Take responsibility for yourself first before you point the finger at others. That's right. Global food and energy security, like our friend Amigdio was speaking to a moment ago, is directly related to our relationship with our natural resources and environmental changes that we are facing now. So I'm going to talk for a second about what is solar energy. Solar energy is the primary source of energy for the global ecosystem. Photosynthesis is who we are, what we came from, and it's the solution to many of our problems. Photosynthesis converts sunlight and CO2 to food and fuel. Biofuels are just a, a demonstration of that. Bioenergy is what it should really be called, working with nature systems. What can you really do? You can educate yourself and your community leaders. I happen to be lucky enough to work at the community college, which is one of the national leaders in renewable energy and climate change. If you don't believe it, see it in your own community. It's real. It happens.